It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 6th of February. I'm James Spann. And don't forget, we are coming to Franklin County Thursday evening of this week. We'll be at Phil Campbell. Of course, that community was uh, wrecked by an EF5 tornado last April 27th, as was Hackleburg. And that shows for you. Uh, we'll be there at the uh, community college starting at 6.30. Get there early to get a good seat. Very powerful stories. A lot to talk about, and uh, we expect a really big crowd there. And there's the rest of the tour stops along the way. Kadok, nice and quiet around here. Let's check the Skycam uh, network. That's coming from Parrish down Highway 269 south of Jasper. The sky there is mostly sunny. Chihaw, partly sunny, a few patches of blue over the uh, lodge there. That's Alabama's highest mountain. Always a beautiful place to be. Elevation up there at the peak, 2,407 feet. And up in Franklin County in northwest Alabama, that's the Russellville Sky Cam where the sky is sunny. Big upper low over the Rockies, and you can see that little minor impulses are coming out of that thing, but the air is so dry, just not producing much more than scattered clouds. Temperatures, eh, mostly mid to upper 50s around here, Tuscaloosa and the Shelby County Airport 60. I think that 69 at Alexander City is bogus. I think the uh, ASOS station there down there is uh, needing a little bit of work. But I do think it's 63 in Auburn and 64 in Montgomery. Nice and comfortable for a winter day and around the nation. Numbers are just not that bad. We are the oasis of warmth in a hemisphere full of brutally cold weather. It's been that way pretty much all winter long. Up on the watch warning map, just not much to talk about. A couple of minor issues out west. There's the rain for the next five days. Basically nothing, not a drop. This is valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And, yeah, we're looking at the tropics here in February. Come on. Uh, our little disturbance that's uh, between Miami and the Bahamas, that's eh, not going to happen. Uh, the, the guys at NHC have it down to a zero chance of developing, zero percent chance. And, uh, and there's the radar, and there's just not much out there. But that was interesting while it flared for sure. Let's go to modeling. This is the 12Z GFS valid at noon tomorrow. You can see the uh, upper low is kind of opening up and, Weakening coming out across the Plain States and down below that. It might squeeze out a few snowflakes out there in Kansas and Nebraska and Oklahoma, but not many. The air is so dry. And around here, not bad. We'll call it partly sunny with low 60s tomorrow. And really the same thing on Wednesday. Thickness values don't change. Uh, I'd say a high between 60 and 63. The sky partly sunny. But on Thursday, the thickness values do come down as that surface high drops in a bit closer. Uh, Highs may be dropping back in the middle 50s. The GFS is showing 55. And Friday, pretty much the same deal. Cool, dry. Highs in the 50s. Lows near freezing uh, early Friday morning, somewhere between 30 and 35. Starting the weekend on Saturday, got that big old vortex over eastern Canada with a trailing trough. And, uh, again, you know, the, the GFS from time to time has shown, you know, a big moisture in the Gulf and a storm blowing through the air. And, Again, this run tries to creep a little moisture up this way for maybe a few sprinkles Saturday, <coughs> excuse me, for the southern half of the state. I'd say the chance of that looks pretty small at this point. We're not going to mention that. The temperatures Saturday should be seasonal. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. And then Sunday, as that feature passes on by, colder air is pulled down. And if this is right, Sunday would be a day where we won't get out of the 40s uh, in parts of North Alabama. And uh, probably down around freezing early Sunday morning, 30 to 33, something like that. We'll check the European for consistency. This is a valid Saturday at midday. The uh, 540 line down to Huntsville. And again, that would suggest a, a dry day Saturday with a high in the low and mid-50s. And then Sunday, uh, the thickness values don't change all that much. So uh, both models are in relatively good agreement. The weekend, dry, cool. Uh, and again, maybe Sunday will be the cooler day. Back to the GFS on Monday of next week. And again, just nothing extremely out of the ordinary. European tries to bring a little moisture in here, but for now, we'll discount that. All right, let's go out there a few more days. This is the uh, 17th of February. And ooh, look at that. Goodness. Full latitude trough west of the state. Deep surface low near the shoals, 1,000 millibars, if this is right. And we all know this is voodoo out here. That would be a huge snowstorm for Little Rock. They would be buried out there, and we would have a big rain event, maybe some strong storms. And then the following day on the 18th, the surface low bombs out. It's up there near Detroit, 980 millibars and 540 line down to Mobile. Cold, maybe some flurries. 
but we all know this will probably vanish on the next run. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 22nd. Still got a trough over the east, and uh, that's still pretty cold and uh, kind of maybe a few flurries if this is right. But, again, that's the chart we're watching, the NAO top chart there the the red lines those are the ensemble members and uh you know like it's been doing all season it wants to bounce off that neutral line and go back positive again is there time for a downward spike absolutely and again a lot of us just have reason to believe we might see some kind of late winter mischief in march but we'll see that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning and if you live around here we invite you to watch us on the tv side that's abc 3340 in birmingham at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a great evening and god bless the first thing you've got to understand you cannot rely on an outdoor siren you cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.